This guide is intended for retrofit cavity wall installation. Here's what you'll find in the UNAHAB box. Remove all the contents ready for installation. Make sure you read the instruction manual for installation. Mark a centre hole ready for drilling your core hole. A minimum 162mm diameter hole is required to install this UNAHAB unit at an outward gradient or a minimum 172mm diameter hole straight. A minimum wall depth of 300mm is required for cavity wall installation. Remember to maintain a minimum distance of 250mm between an adjacent wall or window and the core hole. Also maintain a minimum distance of 300mm between the ceiling and the core hole. To ensure power and connection to the UNAHAB controller, a cable will need to be installed. For installation in a new build, this cable should already be pre-installed. Measure the depth of the core hole and cut your wall sleeve to the correct length. We recommend using an electric jigsaw or blade tool. Carefully insert the wall sleeve into the core hole. Fit flush to the wall and make sure the condensate wedge is centrally aligned with the cable conduit at the bottom. Check the inclination angle with a spirit level to ensure a 1 to 2 degree inclination angle. Once the wall sleeve is inserted, break up the four installation wedges supplied and insert between the core hole and the wall sleeve. Once the wedges have been inserted, check to ensure a tight fit. Fill the gap between the core hole and the wall sleeve with insulation foam on both the inner and outer walls. Allow time to dry and set, then carefully cut away the excess foam and wedges to ensure a flush finish with the wall. On both inner and outer walls, apply a waterproof sealant in the gap between the sleeve, foam and wall. Mount the external grille backplate on the outer wall. Mark four screw holes. Drill four holes and insert the wall plugs. With the external grille backplate in position, screw to the outer wall. Place the external grille cover over the backplate and screw securely in position. The angle ensures condensation drains away. Once the wall sleeve is installed, the condensation is directed towards the external grille thanks to the condensate wedge. Ensure the label marked top on the UNAHAB unit is in the correct position before inserting into the wall sleeve. Carefully insert the UNAHAB unit into the sleeve. Do not force and make contact with the external grille as this could cause damage. Ensure you have sufficient length of cable. Measure and cut to length if necessary. Wire the controller cable as per the wiring diagrams which can be found in the UNAHAB unit manual. Please note the maximum distance between the UNAHAB controller and the unit is 30 meters. Once wired, plug the two-part connector back in and stow the connection cable in the allocated shell space. Carefully insert the UNAHAB unit back into the wall sleeve. Insert the internal mounting grille, ensuring the airflow logo is at the bottom. Push back into the wall sleeve to complete your installation. The UNAHAB unit is in the open position and ready for use.